everyone today in this video tutorial we are going to learn how odoo marketplace functions in odoo version 9 so firstly we need to do the module installation and once the module is installed you will have a new menu named seller dashboard so you simply click in here to do the module configuration so here at the left hand corner you will find the configuration and settings click on this menu and a page new page will open up so here you have various options uh, for configurations like firstly we start with the uh, auto approval option so here we have the seller approval now if you check these options so auto uh, whenever a new uh, seller will be registering on your marketplace he don't need for approval from admin backend so he will be automatically approved so similarly for the products the products the seller will be uploading need not require any approval if this option is checked and uh, if this option is not checked here so this means like uh, admin will approve the seller and the products uploaded by the seller and the quantity simultaneously so here we have this option check like i don't want admin to approve the quantity it should be auto approval there has no limit restrictions on the quantity so we have given this option and uh, the next come on to products like internal category so here you can just select the internal category for the products to be uploaded by the sellers so we have the uh, we have all categories selected and the warehouse location the default location for the uh, warehouse will be the where uh, this location which you can select and uh, though this can be override like every seller can while registering himself can override this option accordingly and uh, can manage on his own and uh, so for invoicing we have two options like based on the customer and seller and based on the seller commission based on the seller and cu customer means like whenever a purchase order is generated and sales order is generated uh, an invoice will be delivered to the customer and the seller as well and uh, this seller invoice will include the data like will exclude the commission charged by the uh, admin of the marketplace so the next option is the based on the seller commission here invoice will be generated only for the commission charged to the seller for uploading products on the marketplace and selling products on your marketplace the next option we have is the seller now most importantly is the seller commission we upload here like uh, you can set the global commission this is the default commission in case if you want to override this cust uh, this commission you can just do it from the seller's account but for now we have the default uh, commission we are charging is 10 percent on every sales order now for the terms and condition we have like you can mention all the clauses in the terms of con conditions during sign up which every seller needs to agree so that uh, there is not any there will no any confusion about the terms and the condition of your uploading product selling products on your marketplace so now we have the option in configuration for mails and notification like you can send email for every seller request like on every seller request you will be notified and uh, for ev uh, every notification on the every seller will be notified as well the seller will also get the notification for registering himself and for the products like you have the seller approval and the rejection if you are approving any seller you can send notification to the admin and the seller both and uh, similarly for the product uh, uh, approval or the rejection if you are approving or rejecting product an email notification will be sent and for the new order as well now if you see like you can just select the email template here as mentioned and uh, you can just uh, even define you can just customize the email default template uh, designed here so uh, you can manage things your way so here all the configurations are done and uh, we apply the settings here here you have several menu options here like if you see the sellers you can find the list of all the sellers registered so far and the orders you are getting on your marketplace the seller payments like all the payments from the sellers and uh, uh, products to be approved and uh, products are already approved can be sh shown here 
and then when we request as by default we have set this option like uh, or for auto approval so here we don't need to come and just approve the inventory uh, individually it is it will show the auto approved status or in case if you want to check you can just check the inventory status it needs to be approved so you can approve it accordingly so these are the seller payment methods and uh, you can just create some and uh, all the categories defined so far and uh, these are the sellers so let us go to the admin panel and let us go to the sellers account how it is going to show and how can they register themselves so this is the seller account so there they can just uh, register your email address their name and they need to check this option and the terms and conditions as defined there will show up and they can just put their password and sign up here let me just log into this account and uh, back to login i already have one seller created let's say this is the seller now if you go to this option so you'll find an option for marketplace now you go to this menu and uh, you have your portal here you can just see the seller profile like you can update your profile accordingly you can put your address your default commission which is read only you cannot edit it and the payment methods even these are read only you like you can just edit it like you can edit the paypal if you want to add you can edit it but not the commission and uh, the information you can edit and uh, you can check your sales order here if you have any and uh, you can check the seller payment account and your products which are which needs to be approved uh, like you don't have any product here so you can just create one let's say we have michael test product one and uh, you de can define the category here let's say i want it under product uh, computers category it will be for fifteen hundred dollars and inventory i would like to maintain three thousand thirty thousand units and i request to approve now status changes from draft to pending like if you go to my approved products like i don't have any approved product so how can you just find it here so this is my product and inventory request again there is no inventory because the product is yet not approved now if i go to the admin account so here i can find uh, the seller this michael which is already under the approved status and uh, you can just check the orders as you can see like there we created one product which needs to be approved so i can see it under my non approved product so i need to approve this product i can check the quantity amount and everything so i approve it and now if you see the status changes from draft to pending and now to approved so still the product is not available on website so i need to upload this product on website so i just check in here and uh, it is published on my website so now if you go to the approved products i can find this product here like michael this product one and now if you go to my portal again i can just check my approved products there is no product which is to be approved because i have created one and which is already approved from the admin account so this is the product which has already been approved now if i go to the website i can find my product available here so this is the product which i created okay so now i log out and let me try and create another uh, let, let, let me just sign up my document or back to login so this is the customer who create purchased this product this is just a test order when he wants to purchase 20 units of this product. Now, process checkout. This is the information we put and we confirm the order. Now, pay now. And uh, if you see, the order is confirmed, but it is in the pending state. Your uh, online payment has been successfully processed, uh, but your order is not yet 
validated so we go to the admin account and there we can just go to the sales and confirm the quotation to show this order this was the order just created and uh, I confirm the sale now the order is confirmed but it is not yet invoiced so if I go to the uh, ad sellers account so I can just check this order uh, I need to log out because this is not the seller with which we need to check so now, now if I go to his marketplace account so I can check in the order created for his product approved so this is the product uh, Michael test one and this is what so this is uh, the test John has purchased this product and uh, this much of quantity mm, but if I go to my seller payment account there is no amount mentioned here just because the invoice is not yet been done so we create the invoice here and uh, now it's in the confirmed state now Della, uh, seller dashboard if you go you can check the order this is the product this is the customer who did the order this product and uh, if you go to seller payment account again you can just check your list of all the sellers with the amount to be paid and uh, this is the order amount or the total and this is the customer uh, like amount to be paid to the seller after deducting the commission so this is how it is going to happen similarly it will show on the seller's account for the payments like if you refresh the page you can just check in here like this was the total order and this is the amount to be paid to the sellers so that's how it functions like that's all for now i hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial and we hope our product turns out to be useful for you any suggestions are welcome thank you so much